Hello Games and No Man's Sky continues its climb to stardom after a controversial launch of No Man's Sky. It was nominated this year for not one, not two, but three awards at the Golden Joystick Awards. Let's talk about those. What's going on, brothers and sisters? Welcome back to the LZ, and I'm excited to bring this up because if there is one developer in one game that has always been surrounded by this sort of negative or cynical discourse, it has been No Man's Sky and Hello Games, and in what has been known as their sort of ascension away from all of that negative rhetoric with the launch of Next last year and the launch of Beyond this year, I'm really surprised to see the conversation is almost completely turned around about this game. Not only has it already been winning awards, and not only has Hello Games been taking home awards for being an excellent studio, No Man's Sky Beyond is surprisingly getting near perfect reviews. Like, what the hell universe am I in right now? I've been covering this game since before day one, and it's pretty clear to me that a lot of people are changing their minds, and industry-wide, it seems that this conversation about this game has been changing quite a lot. Also, it's been changing a lot in the community as well. I'm also also whipping up a controversial video, which I think will probably be controversial. Some folks might even be mad at me for it. That's coming later in the next week or so. Look forward to that. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, and be ready, baby. But let's talk about the Golden Joystick Awards, and let's put up on screen the three awards that they've been nominated for. First things first, Best Game Expansion. Beyond just dropped a little more than a month or two ago, and uh, clearly it is a gigantic expansion where the center post is clearly focused on VR. Some other notables that are coming to expansions that are also nominated, some notables like Civilization VI, Destiny 2 Shadowkeep, which is about to launch here in a couple of days. See if Thieves got an anniversary update. That's another game that sort of rivaled No Man's Sky in the controversy, but the rise in good content and positive reception. Warframe has been around for years and it continues to have positive reception. I really ought to play that game again. I really really, really do. And of course, Monster Hunter Iceborne is also a pretty big expansion. Lots of folks love Monster Hunter, so clearly No Man's Sky has a lot of competition there. Uh, also big of note is Shadowbringers from Final Fantasy XIV, which I'm hearing is one of the best MMOs out there. Funny enough, another game that suffered from a really, really bad launch that has completely turned the ship around and pretty much everybody loves that. I'm not an MMO player, but I, I almost feel like I want to give it a try at least just to see, because uh, it kind of looks cool. I can't even I can't even deny it. Let's talk about the next one. Obviously it belongs in this category of best VR and AR game. And looking at this one, and uh, I, I actually had a chance to play Wizards Unite for Harry Potter, but I don't have VR. I was talking to the developer not too long ago, but I'm honestly, and as much of an ace combat fan that I am, I'm looking up here and I barely know anything about what I'm seeing here besides Blood and Truth, which apparently is a popular experience, but very few of these have I heard a whole lot about or have I seen be a full experience that has received a great reception that No Man's Sky Beyond has gotten for its VR component. I really think this, out of all three, really, this is the one that stands the chance the most. I think it has a very high it has a very high chance of taking the win here. So uh, good on Hello Games and good luck to them on that one because I think they have the most potential in this category. And then finally, the last category: Studio of the Year. Would you believe it? Would you think that this would ever happen? Uh, I think Hello Games has already been nominated numerous times and actually received a couple of different rewards uh, for being best studio and best developer and uh, I'm really proud that they sort of climbed out of the mud that the internet had them in for a little more than a year. Looking at some of the competition that they're facing here, this is going to be the one that they struggle with the most, I think. Because you're going against 4A Games and if you don't know 4A Games, they're the ones that have put out the Metro games, Metro 2033, Metro Last Light, and Metro Exodus. Uh, guys, these games are phenomenal. If you have not played the Metro games, how have you lived? Uh, as a matter of fact, Metro Exodus is still my game of the year this year. 
year. I think it's free on Game Pass, too. If you have Game Pass for Xbox and or PC, I really recommend that you get this game. If you can even play it for free, what are you waiting for? Uh, sorry, I had to rant about uh, Metro Exodus, but 4A Games is a tiny studio that uh, used to live in really bad conditions under THQ, uh, and uh, I'm happy to see them on the list. Digital Extremes, I think those are the ones that are handling Warframe. Epic Games, uh, with their launch of Gears of War 5, also I think they belong on this list too because they had a gigantic list of compatibility and accessibility options built right into Gears of war for like colorblind folks and the, the whole list i mean the list is exhaustive so just by them doing that is uh I, I think is worthy of the praise media molecule is there they obviously deserve that for being a tiny little scrappy studio that made dreams i have yet to get into dreams and i really want to because i love to create in games nintendo is nintendo for a reason remedy just put out a brand new game that looks pretty cool respawns an awesome studio apex legends is phenomenal uh, if you haven't played it, it's free. Go and do it. But I think they're going to struggle with this uh, this the most. Uh, and if I had to give some value to Hello Games in this category, it's that they, they came from nothing, right? They left the AAA industry. They fought a flood that destroyed the studio. They had a rough launch to a game that they came back from. They've almost completely turned around the narrative against their game and their studio and their studio head. I could make the appeal all day long that they obviously deserve this award, but just looking at the competition that they have on this, uh, I would be surprised if they get it, uh, but it would be a big win for them because if you're surrounded by that kind of competition uh, and you win that kind of award, um, you have done something very, very, very right. With No Man's Sky getting glowing reviews and getting nominated for various awards for a game that has lived for three years and probably looking to live much, much further, hopefully, things are really looking up for Hello Games, and I'm so proud that they are able to be able to... I, I, if you would have asked me two years ago if this were going to happen, if No Man's Sky were going to eventually get glowing reviews from major outlets. My review I just put up last week, you can click the card here or the card at the end of the video to watch that. It's not a glowing review, but it is definitely worth your attention if you're looking for somebody's perspective who has been covering the game, who loves it, who has played it since day one. And I really gotta thank the folks who contributed to the LZPC fundraiser. The folks on the screen here helped contribute more than uh, almost a quarter of what I need need for my total amount for that PC so far. The old LZ PC is aging pretty roughly here and I want to be ready for the future. Thank you so much for doing that. And of course to those who support the LZ Monthly here on the screen, thank you very much for contributing and helping us out here to keep us relevant, keep us going. If you thought this video was informational to your No Man's Sky and gaming experience, do me a favor, click that like button. Please subscribe for further content here in the LZ and tell me down below in the comments do you think Hello Games has a chance for one or more of these awards, and why do you think they deserve it? Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a great weekend, and I will see you in the next one.